Hi, today I'm going to be looking at the Netamo weather station. It's a weather station designed for home use or consumer use, not as a professional weather station, but it does a pretty good job. Now, if you're curious about what the temperature is inside your home, outside your home, plus other measurements like uh, wind speed, uh, rain, and uh, a few other measurements that I'll go through a bit later, and I think it is a good buy. Okay, let's have a look at what you get when you buy the starter kit. The starter kit comes with the main base station and the external temperature sensor. Main base station, not much to look at. Aluminium tube with a bit of plastic, and connects to the mains. Use that to connect to your home Wi-Fi. You set it up via Bluetooth initially. External module, battery powered. A couple of AAA batteries in there, I believe. And you connect that to the main station. Fairly simple to set up. Once it's set up, I haven't had any problems with it. I've had it for a few years now. Works pretty well. Main station gives you temperature plus a few other readings. External, again, gives you temperature plus a few other readings. You can get other modules for it. There is a uh, anemometer a, for measuring wind speed. There's a rain gauge you can get, both of those for outside. Additionally, you can get an additional indoor module. So you can have three additional indoor modules on one base station, and you can put these in different places around your home. So you could have these in a bedroom, um, the conservatory, maybe even in a greenhouse if you wanted to measure the conditions in there. It's quite handy because you can see what different areas of the house, what temperature and other levels I've got. Um, and I highly recommend it from that point of view. It's not just a one trick pony, it's not just an indoor and an outdoor system, it's multiple zones indoor. For connecting to the rest of your smart home, Netamo will connect with HomeKit and it will connect with your Amazon voice assistant. Unfortunately, at the moment, as far as I can tell, won't connect with um, a Google voice assistant, which is a bit of a shame. Um, so you won't be able to get it on the on the screens of things, but you will be able to ask Amazon Voice Assistant uh, temperatures of indoor and outdoor and, and different zones around the house, which I do find uh, quite useful. Here we're looking at some of the modules. This is one of the internal modules. Um, I have a couple of them. This one's in my conservatory. Next, moving on to the external module. This one's as you outside on a fence. It's got a shroud around it. This protects it from the sun and gives it more accurate readings. Okay, now I'm going to have a look at the Netamo app. This is on Android. Here we go. It's quite a good app. It's quite clean. It's quite sort of basic, but it does tell you everything you need to know. Just going around the houses. It tells you when it was updated, three minutes ago in this case, and then it works on to the top here is the outside temperature section, the outside sensor. So currently cloudy, 7.1 degrees. If I tap on the 7.1 degrees, it then tells me the minimum maximum for the last 24 hours. So the minimum was minus one, maximum was 8.8. .8. Go back, tells you the main temperature. It tells you the pressure. Tells you what it feels like, so if you've got a lot of wind chill, and then tells you the humidity. On this top section, you can scroll as well. So if I scroll one way, it tells you the um, background um, air quality. At the moment, it says it's good. And I scroll right, it will tell you the details for the rain gauge if you have one installed. I don't. And the anemometer. Again, I don't have one of those installed either. Um, okay, go back to the main. Below that, you have the forecast starting from tomorrow, going forward seven days. Fairly accurate, not massively detailed. We'll go into a few more details here of what it thinks the temperature is going to be. It's quite a lot of information there, which is good. Go back. Below that, the lower section of the app tells you about the modules starts off with the indoor module which is the base station again temperature main temperature lowest temperature and then highest temperature then you've got the co2 measurement co2 measurement directly relates to the color of the uh, disc and sun above it so at the moment it's in the orange which is not great it's 
uh, quite high CO2. When it's into yellow and green, that's better. If it's in red, that's obviously worse. So it's quite a good indication of the air quality inside your house. Next, you have the um, noise monitor. At the moment, it says it's quiet, which it is. And then you've got humidity. So that's the main inside app. If, if you then go to the next module, this one is for my conservatory. It's green, air quality is good. Um, CO2 415, temperature 7.4, and a lower for higher 7.4, so it doesn't really change very much in there. And then the humidity below that. Okay, on to the next bedroom. Again, CO2, temperature, humidity, highs and lows, all fairly basic. Last one is if you have a, uh, well for me it would be the third additional indoor module, a three per base station. I currently have two, I'm quite tempted to get a third one, I'm not entirely sure where I'd put it. Um, and the next bit is the map, which I'm not gonna show you, but it just shows you basically where the base station is located. So that's the main part of the app, which is what you're referring to most of the time. Um, again, tells you information, pretty clear. You can then go into, onto the side, and graphs, bom, bom, bom. and it flips it around. Here we go, and it gives you a nice graph going back as far as you want. It keeps history for as far as I know ever. So if I just go up, indoor temperature it takes a while to find it, bom, bom, bom. and there we are. When it's up, when it's down. Wait, scroll, zoom in. And this is over it's about a week now. You can see ups and downs, ups and downs. So it does give you a pretty good idea for the uh, overall temperature for your for your house. The when it changes out this far, it does change into a high and a low um, uh, measurement rather than the pure uh, standard graph. You can also have this measurement on all of the other uh, sensors as well. So at the moment you've got humidity, CO2, CO2 is always a good one. Yep, it basically tells you probably when I've been in the house. Up and down, up and down, up and down when I'm breathing, which is good. Outdoor, well, just like conservatory, then bedroom, then outdoor, outdoor temperature. Dun, dun, dun go there we are and you see as i scroll along the value changes on the top minus 0 0.09 and goes up to 6.3 degrees so and you can zoom into that into all the data points there as well so it's got quite a lot of information you can really dig into it i do quite like it the amount of the information it gives you and how easy it is to read okay back and there we are. Um, basically, that is the overview of the Netamo app. Um, I highly recommend it. I think it's nice and clear and crisp. It doesn't give you too much. It's not too gimmicky. It's not too cartoony. But it's also, on the flip side, it's not too scientific either. Um, I highly recommend. A bit like the products. I do like it. Well, that's all I've got to say so far on the Netamo weather station. Um, I think it's a good product. Um, I've had it for a few years now. It hasn't really given me any problems. No connectivity issues really, battery seems to last quite a long while, the reporting is pretty good, I do like the notifications and how I can customise those as well. Um, would I recommend you get it? Well, if you're interested in the temperature and all such, uh, indoors and outside, yes definitely, uh, it's very much a curiosity, but if you are interested in that kind of thing, it's a good buy. There are other systems you can buy, but for me, I think this one hits the right point of accuracy ease to use, cost, because some of the other systems do tend to go into the more professional uh, cost area. But no, it's good, it looks good, I would highly recommend. Any questions, leave them below in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much.